G'day guys, just going to do a quick demonstration how you're going to uh, replace a handle on a pallet jack uh, where the pallet jack has arrived and it might have uh, had a damaged handle on it or it's been damaged over time uh, you've got a new handle and you can knock that on so there's a few steps that you need to go through uh, to remove this handle uh, first thing you're going to want to do is make sure that lever is all the way down uh, that would be in the if you're jacking it in the lifting position uh, on this particular jack uh, so that's all the way down you're going to need a couple of tools you're going to need a hammer, a punch, uh, a bit of pipe like that, or you can even use a screwdriver. Uh, so first of all, uh, double check that's all the way down, uh, and then we're going to put a bit of spring tension. Uh, well, as we press the spring down, we're going to lower the spring. There's a hole in under this section here. You can use a screwdriver or a bit of pipe like that. That's how a bit of metal like that's what it came in the uh, from the factory with. Uh, so that. Puts the, takes the pressure off the handle, uh, makes it a bit floppy, no, nothing wanted to push it back up. Uh, that's quite important because if you take the handle out without doing that, then the spring's going to want to jump out and it's an absolute nightmare to put back in. Uh, so then uh, we're going to want to release, in this section here, there's a control linkage assembly. So you want to take that off. So the easiest way to do that is to get your hand on this side here, push it up, and if you sort of feel around on the other side, I'll take a close up of this later on and you push that off and you release that section in there. Uh, what you can do then is you need to pull that chain up. So from the back side here, the back end, you can see where this chain is here. And you're going to want to pull that out. That's going, this chain is actually dropping through uh, a, the handle pivot pin, which is this section here. So you just have to put a bit of a fiddle around. Might just be easier to get on a bit of an angle. There it is. So it's come out now. Uh, it's very important that you take that off because you can't remove this pin while that chain is all the way through. All right. So then you're going to want to grab your hammer and your punch. You're going to go and get one of these uh, roll pins here, and we're going to need to completely remove a roll pin, uh, and then we'll replace it uh, after we put the new handle back on. Uh, so a couple of taps in the right spot, hopefully on the end of the punch, not on my fingers or my thumb. Uh, hopefully I can get it off pretty quick. Also important that you've got the right size punch. You don't want one that's too small because then it's going to go inside the roll pin. And then as we're going through the handle pivot pin, it can get jammed and then you're all stuck and you're trying to jam it out. I've done that a couple of times. Then lazy, you haven't been able to find the right size punch. All right, so keep an eye on where the, uh, the roll pin's gone. Okay, double check, you've removed the chain. All right, now we can remove the handle pivot point. And what this is gonna do is uh, allow us to the handle straight off. So it's pretty easy once you've done it. Sometimes you need a bit of a tap with the persuader. Get him out. And handle's off. So nothing wrong with this handle, but for this uh, demonstration, let's pretend there is. Here's a new handle. I hope they don't need too many attempts at getting this in. All right, so what we're gonna do is again, grab the handle pivot pin. Gonna feed him back through. Line him up. He's gone all the way back through. Make sure the handle hasn't hit you. And the way back, grab your roll pin. Knock the roll pin back in. There you go, handle pivot pin's back in. Uh, grab the chain. Now this is a tricky bit. You have to line the handle pivot pin up with the chain. It's got to drop through it. So it's easy to feed it in over the top, which is exactly what I've done there. But you've got to feed it back through the centre of that pin. And you know when you've done it right. Okay, now you've dropped that back through. Uh, through this, set, this side here, you'll find do another demonstration where I've got that up closer. Uh, the, it, then you just got to feed the bottom up through this section here. So let's get that chain in over the other side. All right, that's back together. Uh, pull the handle up, actually lower, lower the handle back down, springs down, handle's out, and that's a new handle on there. Jack will jack up, jack will lower, all connected. 